Hello guys, welcome to AIAC Driving School. I am Chavla, I am MTO Public Driving Instructor. Today we are going to go to Bermtrin's G2 test route. Bermtrin is having a two test route and we are going to both the routes one by one. And one more thing, in Bermtrin they are going to ask you parallel parking with the cones like this. And at the end of this video I am going to teach you how to do the parallel parking with the cones also. And uh, in our school we teach the like students how to do the parallel parking with the cones for uh, how to prepare for the G2 test in Brampton. If you have any questions you can call me anytime at 416-275-3965. Let's go to Brampton uh, G2 route number 1. You park at number space here. We'll take a left here. And we'll do a left here. And then we'll take a right here. And uh, after taking a right, for, right here from this stop sign, they will take you to a right to do 3.10 parallel parking. We are going to skip that part now. We will take a left here. And we'll take a left here. And when you're passing through this area, make sure you check both sides here. No car is coming here. And from this stop sign, they will take you left or right. In the route number one, I'm going to take you left from this stop sign. And on the route number two, I will take you to right from this stop sign. Let's go left here. First stop at this stop sign completely. Stop here and then move further ahead. Check. Anyone coming? Yes, one truck is coming from the right side. Let's see if anyone else is coming after that. Yeah, one more car is coming. Yeah, wait for that car also. Wait for this truck also. Check both sides. Anyone else coming? Yeah, no one coming. I will take a left here. We'll go to the first lane here. Don't go straight to the second lane. First lane here. Then change it to right. Mirror signal blind spot and change it to right here. And we'll take a right from this next traffic light which is Biscayn Crescent. We'll take a right here. And on Biscayne Crescent speed limit is 50 here and there's a lot of traffic here. See that? See there's like a Costco here, Tim Horton here, hotel is there, so many restaurants are around here. So there's a lot of traffic around here. Make sure you check everywhere. Speed limit is 50 here. And we will go at the speed limit here and the curve here. Be careful on the curve. Little bit slow down here too. Yep. And look around, look all the intersection, look all the driveways, everything. <coughs> Speed limit is 50 here. Yeah. And here, like after that, they will ask you to do uphill or downhill parking around in this area. We are not going to do it right now, but they will ask you somewhere around here. Uphill and downhill parking. They will tell you to pull over here and do uphill and downhill parking. We are going to skip here for right now. And speed limit is 50 here. And the next stop sign, we are going to take left. This is again first Gulf Boulevard. We will take a left here. Left on the next stop sign. Stop here completely on the white line. Stop completely. See if anyone coming. Yes, two cars are coming from the right side. Let them go. Yeah, one more car is coming behind. Wait for that car too. Yeah. Take left here. Again, go to the first lane here, and then change it to right. See what's written on the top here. Maximum 40 when flashing. Right? And it's 50 speed limit here and you have to go to 40 when it is flashing. Usually during the school days for between 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. this light is flashing. So go to 40 when it's flashing. If it's not flashing it's 50. And it's 50 speed limit right now because it's not flashing. It's a first girl Boulevard. And from the first traffic light we will take a ride, which is Kennedy. We'll take a right here. So light is red. We have to stop behind this car. So when you stop behind any car, we should be able to see the wheels of the car. Now light turn to green. Just look around quickly. We will turn the right here. And on Kennedy speed limit is 60 and it's written here again maximum 40 when flashing. So it's not flashing, it's 60 right now here. And after that the sun will take you straight. And in uh, 
Route number one, I'm going to take you right from the parking lot, and then route number two, I will take you from the streets. They can take you from anywhere. I will take you from the parking lot first. We will take a right here, right indicator, and go into this parking lot here. Yeah, and during the weekdays, there so many kids are playing around here, so just watch for them. And in this parking lot, there's a lot of stop signs. At least four or five stop signs you are going to get. Make sure you stop at every stop sign completely and check what kind of stop sign is that and what you have to do. We will take a left from this stop sign. We have to stop at the white line here. Stop completely. Everything is clear. We can go left here. And next stop sign, we will take the right here. Again, stop here completely. Yeah, and look around. No one is here. And in this plaza, also so many people are walking around. You have to wait for them, watch for them. If anybody coming in their way, yes, like this one. See, if you stop for the pedestrian, they will say thank you too, and examiner will love it. Yeah, and they always respect the pedestrian. They are king. When they are walking on the road, just respect them. Just look around, look everywhere. Again, stop sign. Stop here completely. Stop completely. Yeah, we are the first one here. We'll go. <coughs> Next stop sign again. We will take a right. See if one more pedestrian is walking and he's not looking anywhere yet. Yeah, let's see if he's coming in our way. We will stop for them. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If the pedestrian walking in front of you, stop for them. Yeah, somebody don't want to stop. They can let them go also, no problem. That's fine. It was a right of way, but if he's not stopping, that's no problem. Like you can give the way if they're not stopping. Don't like start arguing on the road, okay? Stop here completely. Check anyone coming? No one. We will take left. Did you see that lot of stop signs in this plaza? Yeah, stop here. Complete stop. Yeah, two more cars are coming from the left side. They don't have a stop sign here. Yeah, they wait for them. Yep. Yeah, he's turning. Yep. I will take left here, then take uh, right into the drive test center. And here are a lot of pedestrians, lot of cars around here. Make sure you see everyone. Give respect to the pedestrians. And yeah. We will take a left here. We will go around. Watch for pedestrians here, around here. And we will go around here. Yeah, and then example will tell you turn the right here. And then they will tell you find the most easiest like parking things here and then park somewhere there on the right side. And then park on the right side here. And then the examiner will tell you, you may, congratulations, you meet the ministry standard today, you pass your test, go and get your license from inside. Now I am going to take you to route number 2. Let's go to Brampton G2 route number 2. You have to park here and then take left around here and then take right here. Yep. And from this stop sign we will take left they will take you right and do three point turn parallel parking here we are going to skip for now and we will take a left here and when you're passing through this area look everywhere look around and in the route number one from this stop sign we went to left side in the route number two we are going to right side from this stop sign yeah, take right here yeah, completely stop first, no matter what, first stop completely, then move further ahead. Yeah, see any car coming, just one car is coming, we have to wait for that car. He is coming too fast, now he is slowed down. Yeah, now he changes mind, now he can speed up. So make sure you keep on looking at them, yeah. yeah. So, we take a right here, then examiner will tell you to take a left. This is the first girl's boulevard. Change it to left, go to the left lane. Mirror signal blind spot check and then go to that lane. 
and then we tell you to take a left here. That's a biscuit basin. We'll take a left here. Yep, and then take a left here. And after that, the gun will tell you to pull over somewhere here. So mirror signal blind spot when you pull over and stop on the right side. Yep. And pull over here. Yep, and uh, then they tell you to do uphill or downhill parking here. We are going to do uphill parking here. Turn me to the left, put in parking and hand pick up. When you take out, put in drive. Left indicator, check blind spot, no one is coming behind us. Then take it out like this. And the speed limit is 50 here in Biscayne Crescent. And a lot of traffic around here because there's a mentor in here and Costco here, Tim Horton here, some hotel is here too. It's very busy area and there's so many trucks around here too. And make sure you see everywhere. And speed limit is 50 here. See, look around, look all. When you're driving straight, don't keep on looking straight only. Look all these driveway, look everything, right? Look around here. See, so many cars are coming from this Costco. It's busy right now. So, just keep on looking around here. Yep. See, people are just cutting in front of us. No problem. Just keep on looking at that. And then, from the first traffic light, they're going to take you left. That's the first Gulf Boulevard. When you tell you to going left here, make sure you don't touch this yellow line. Go from the white line. Mirror signal blind spot and check and go to the left lane here. Yeah, like this. Now light is red. We stop here. And cars are coming. Yeah. When you're standing here, keep on looking everywhere. Don't stay at the light only. Look on the lights on the both sides. Look for the cars on the both sides. One truck is standing on this side. Cars are standing in front of us. Who can come in our way when the light turns to green? Yeah, it's going to take a little while here. So, but uh, don't keep on look, looking at the light only. See, light is green for the left side people also now. They are going to uh, go and uh, just keep on looking who is coming in the, on the way. If any pedestrian can come to your way when you're starting or not, then yeah, no money is there yet. No one is here. The light is not going to change soon. Yep. Yeah, nothing is here yet. When you're st uh, standing here, look in the back mirror also. Look on the sides also. Any pedestrian, any potential hazard can come. See, like how much traffic it is here right now. So make sure, like, uh, be careful like when you're driving near the, this intersection because so many people are going to Costco here so many people are going to this one uh, Tim Horton here Mentrin is there Home Depot is here right so very very big 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 store and uh, like they are very busy because of that this intersection be careful around here the light is red for them now our light is green go in the center of the intersection look for the incoming cars yeah when you're standing in the intersection, look for the light, look for the car, look for the pedestrian, look everything. Yeah, keep on looking at your own light also. Yeah, the cars are finished. Now I can turn left nicely here. We'll go to the first lane and speed up. And then don't go to the other lane yet. There are signal blind spot and then change into right. Check there are signal blind spot. Come to the right lane here. And his first Gulf Boulevard speed limit is 50 here right now. And see that it's written there 40 when flashing. When that light is flashing, is 40 here. Otherwise, it is 50 here. Right now, it's not flashing, so it's 50 here. We can go to 50. traffic light we will take a right which is Kennedy and turn 
right here, right indicator. Light is green, you can take right now, lighter to red. We have to stop there first. No matter what, red light we have to stop first completely. And then go further ahead, check. Anyone there? No one. We can turn right here. On Kennedy speed limit is 60, but by certain the maximum 41 flashing. So it's not flashing right now. So it's so 60 here right now. So when it's, if it's flashing, then it's 40 here. So in the route number one, if you remember, we turn right from this uh, uh, parking lot in Plaza. But in route number two, we are going straight on Kennedy. And we turn a right on steels after that. We take a right from the traffic light. We take a right here. So it's a red light. First thing is you have to stop the car here. Red light first stop here. And during the school days, there's so many kids are playing around here, walking around here. So be careful, okay? And then go further ahead. See anyone coming? Yeah, a lot of cars are coming from the left side. I have to wait for all of them. Light is red and the cars are coming, so you have to wait for them. No pedestrian is here, but I can still like uh, see any so many cars are coming around here. So when their light turn to red, we can turn right here. Yeah, so their light is red now and everything is clear. We can turn right here. Turn right here, but we we'll go straight here on the steel speed limit is 70 here. 70. Sometimes they take a ride from this plaza from here also, but the mostly they take the straight, straight on there. And when you're passing through an intersection, if the light is green, still keep on checking both sides. Now, when you stop behind the, any car, we should be able to see the wheels of that car on ground. There's a right position to stop the car. Don't stop too far, don't stop too close also. Don't stop like too far also. Sometimes you have seen like, yeah, I can see the wheel, they stop like too far. That's also not good. You're like basically blocking the whole road. But don't go too close also. It's not like you can't even see the bumper of the car also. Right? So don't stop too far, don't stop too close at the right distance. Just keep on checking around here. This plaza is very busy. So many people are going inside, coming outside. Be careful around this plaza. Yeah, light is green. Before starting, just check both sides. Yeah, everything is clear. Yeah, we'll go straight here. Then exam will tell you change it to right. Mirror, signal, blind spot and change green to right. Speed limit is still 70 here. Yeah, we will take the right here. Light is green. We can take the right. Keep indicator on. Yeah. And when you turn right here, make sure you watch a lot of pedestrians. Here. Pedestrians are walking around here. Be careful. Don't scare pedestrians. Even if they are wrong, still stop for them. Straight speed limit is 50 here. It's again first Gulf Boulevard. We'll take the right, go right into the plaza, and we are in back into the test center. And then the exam will take you straight here. Sometimes people think that I drove very good, and then they miss this stop sign. Don't miss this stop sign and next stop sign. I've seen so many people get failed because of these stop signs only. Make sure stop here completely. Yeah, go further ahead and then turn right from the stop sign. Yeah, stop completely here. Go right here. And then they will tell you take a left here, take left. Then the exam will tell you to park where it's safe to park so. Yeah, we are going to park here, perfectly, nicely park here, then the exam will tell you to congratulations, you meet Mrs. Standard today, you pass your test, go and get your license from uh, inside and go and get your license and now I am going to teach you how to do the parallel parking between the two cones, 
and uh, like i wish you best of luck for your test yeah now i'm going to teach you how to do the parallel parking between the two poles and uh, the, which is very important for the test in the g2 test in brampton let's go and do parallel parking between the two cones and go beside the first cone keep 1 meter distance from the cone and look for the first cone is from the back window like this see cone in back window then turn one time to right side only one time okay and then come back and see the same cone behind the right mirror like this yes like this and then turn all the way to left and here you go the car is parked between the two cones like this that's it that's a perfect parallel parking between the two cones